All right, the next thing I'm gonna create is an infographic. So I'm gonna click on Create Genially, and then I'm gonna navigate over to Infographics and click Create. Notice on the left-hand panel, you have uh, still the selection of different kinds of infographics and other products from Genially. I'm gonna click on Horizontal Graphics, and I'm gonna click on Ge uh, Genial Bio. So I'm gonna use this template. Um, so basically what I could do with this is I could see this being applicable to students who are in AVID or learning about how to promote themselves um, in uh, online. So, or you could also do it, in, you know, maybe like literary characters or historical characters and do a um, bio card on them. So I'm gonna click on use this template and let it load. Okay, so um, now that I have this template open, I'm going to see what I can change. Okay, so um, I can change the photo here probably by clicking uh, replace. I can um, change it to something from my computer. Um, I'm gonna click on my computer and I'm gonna choose, where's that? Here's my dog. So I'm gonna upload the picture of my dog Chauncey. And once it finishes uploading, I can select it. So it's given a moment. There it is, click on it and click replace. So now I have the picture of my dog Chauncey. I'm going to double click here to change the text. Her name, I can write a subtitle here. Oops, can't type. Yeah, very good girl. I could uh, put a quote there if I'd like, but I can replace the text in these text boxes and her biography. Um, this is, looks like it's probably a window. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Click on here and I can show what the biography says. I can add some information. I can add um, images here. I can add, uh, so, so basically the tooltip and the window are the same thing. As, uh, as you saw in the other video on interactive images. So I can change this information. Um, again, if this was a liter literary character, historical figure, you might have students write like a short um, summary of their life or uh, their importance to the story or what have you. Um, you can change the, um, you know, to small, medium, large. Um, again, there's all these different um, formatting tools that students would have available on a regular document. Um, and then you can also add images, videos, um, insert tables. You can also um, embed um, HTML code if they know how to do that or if that's available to them. So you can click on save. Um, and then there's just more buttons here. Um, something I didn't show in the other um, video was how to add certain things or how to, sorry, how to modify certain things. So let's say um, if I wanna change the color of this, and I don't want this indigo color, I can go, once I click on it, look in the top toolbar, shows you you can, um, uh, sorry, copy things, you can delete them, you can lock them, and then you can also, uh, so locking them so that you know, no one can modify, move, delete, um, or change them whatsoever. Um, you can change the order, you can put something in front or behind, you can change the position, you can make it transparent, and finally you can change the color. Um, so you can color here. If you have the hex code for the color, you can get a custom color, it's a little bit more advanced, but I can change the color um, to whatever I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna click on, so notice I click on the text, so I have text editing buttons here. If I click on the button itself, now I can change the color to that, um, I don't know, what is that, fuchsia? So I can change my color, uh, sorry, my color scheme I'd like. These are also buttons. Uh, if I wanted to add um, another button here, I would change on the interactive elements. So this should look very similar from the interactive images. I can, um, if I want to add something, all I can do, all I need, all I need to do, so there's an options icon, the vertical line of three dots, click and drag over here. So I can click and drag. Um, I can change that to be the same size as the other buttons. So I can do that. I can add more buttons. I can add a home button if I'd like. I have menu buttons. I have different markers, social networks that you can put. So if I have a YouTube video of Chauncey that I want to incorporate, 
click and drag that YouTube icon, resize, do whatever I need to do. I can, um, this is the part where I probably click here and I'd probably just make it a link to whatever YouTube video I want um, students or people to see. So there are all kinds of things you can embed in there. Um, so basically um, what you do, oh, uh, sorry, another thing you can do is add pages. So if I want another page to my, uh, my character, in this um, case, my dog, I could change, I could say add page, what I want it to be. I could put another one. So let's say I want a student to make a stack of different characters, right? So you can make like have say, you need to choose five characters from the book and, um, or from the story and then um, add, um, you know, each one has, has their own bio page. Um, as a teacher, you can also make resources for students. So if you want to have them review um, some ideas, each card could be an idea. So I could click this and then click add. And then they'd have another one to modify. Um, okay, so that is um, all you need to do to start on making horizontal infographics. If you wanna see other infographics, um, I recommend that you go back to Genially and I'm gonna say leave this page and explore by clicking create genially. Uh, you can click on infographics and then you have different infographics, diagrams, vertical infographics, so on and so forth. All right, so that should get you started with um, infographics in genially and uh, just have fun with it.